Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you some exam questions on drawing straight line graphs. So I've put these in order of difficulty. So let's have a look at the first question that we've got. So we've got to draw the graph of y equals 4x minus 4. So what we've got then, we've got our table of values already here. And we just need to work out the y coordinates. So we get the y coordinates by substituting our x values into 4x minus 4. I'm going to start off with the positive numbers first of all because these ones are easier to work out. You're more likely to go wrong substituting the negative numbers. So let me start with 0. So if I sub in 0, it'd be 4 times 0, take away 4. So 4 times nothing is nothing, take away 4 is minus 4. So let's put 1 in next, so that would be 4 times 1, take away 4. So 4 times 1 is 4, take away 4 is 0. Let's put 2 in next, so that would be 4 times 2, take away 4. So 4 times 2 is 8, take away 4 is 4. And then put in 3, so 4 times 3 is 12, take away 4 is 8. So you should be able to see a pattern here now. You should be able to see that that's going up in 4s. So if we take 4 off, that will give us what minus 1 is. That's minus 8. And that one would be minus 12. So we can now just plot these values on our graph. So our first point is minus 2, minus 12. So that's down here. Right, our next point is minus 1, minus 8, which is here. Our next point was 0, minus 4, which is here. Our next point is 1, 0. Our next point is 2, 4. And our final point is 3, 8. So we should be able to check that these are in a straight line before we join up the points. So it looks correct. So if you just get your ruler and draw a line through your points. So that is our first question done. So let's move on to our next exam question on straight line graphs. So this time we've got to draw the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. And it says do it from x equals minus 2 to x equals 4. So our table of values is not drawn this time. So we're going to draw our table of values up. So we've got x on top, y underneath. So we're going from minus 2 up to positive 4 it doesn't have to be too neat this table of values ok so that will do ok so again I'm going to start off with 0 so if I put nothing into there so 2 times nothing take away 3. So 2 times nothing, take away 3, that would be minus 3. Then put 1 in, so that would be 2 times 1, take away 3. So 2 times 1 is 2, take away 3 is minus 1. Then put 2 in, so it would be 2 times 2, take away 3, that's positive 1. Then put 3 in, so 2 times 3, Take away 4, so 2 times 3 is 6, sorry, take away 3 there. Take away 3 is 3, and our final point is 4, so 2 times 4 is 8, take away 3 is 5. Okay, so we just need to now work out the negative ones. You should be able to see a pattern here now which will be easier to do than substituting the numbers. So it goes 5, 3, 1, minus 1, minus 3. So we're taking 2 off 
each time, so that would be minus 5 and that one would be minus 7. So again, let's just plot our points on our coordinate grid. So our first one is minus 2, minus 7. So that is down here. Our next point is minus 1, minus 5. Our next point is 0, minus 3. 1, minus 1. We've got 2, 1. 3, 3 and 4, 5. So again all the points are looking in line. So if any were slightly out you know you've probably worked something out wrong. So we just draw a line through these points. So that's our second exam question done. So let's move on to our final ones. This one is the hardest one. Okay, so we've got to draw the graph of y equals 1 minus 4x from x equals minus 2 to x equals plus 2. So again, if we draw our table of values, there's not as many points to work out this time. So we've got minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So it's a little bit harder because it's not in the typical order for a straight line graph. Okay, so let's start by substituting in 0. So it'd be 1 take away 4 times 0. So you have to use bod mass or bid mass to do this one. So you always do the multiplying part first of all. So 4 times nothing is nothing. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So then let's sub in 2 next then. So, sorry, 1 next. So this one will be 1 take away 4 times 1. So again, do the multiplying bit first. 4 times 1 is 4. So 1 take away 4 is minus 3. And then substitute 2. So we've got 1 minus 4 times 2. Do the multiplying bit first. So it'll be 1 take away 8, which is minus 7. So we can now look at for a pattern here to work out these two. So it looks like as we go from right to left, we're adding on 4. So it goes minus 7 add 4 is minus 3, minus 3 add 4 is 1. So if we add 4 onto this one, that would be 5, and add another 4 on, which is 9. So we just need to plot these on our coordinate grid now. So our first point was minus 2, positive 9. Our next point was minus 1 and 5. Our next point was 0 and 1. Our next point was 1 minus 3 and our final point was 2 minus 7 so if we just draw our straight line going through these points so there we go and that's it so I hope you like this video if you did like and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye